Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for May 19th, 2020. Yesterday, we had a huge, huge rally with the bulls pushing um, hard, leaving a big gap behind in the charts. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we saddle up, let's grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So yesterday's rally was really substantial and there was a big push. Uh, we had kind of the warm and fuzzy comments uh, from Jerome Powell the day before and then a um, news report of a, a small clinical trial, 45 folks, that after two injections of their treatment um, provided some um, antibodies or, or had the, uh, the folks in the trial developed antibodies to combat, combat the coronavirus. So great news. It's a long ways away before we actually have a full-on treatment or tested a treatment. But it is encouraging when we see those kind of news reports um, on, uh, on uh, treatment, treatments that uh, could potentially get us out of this mess um, that we're dealing with um, in our economy. So right now we have this big, big rally that we're dealing with. And unfortunately, there's a few things here that I want to cover today that may show that as big as it was, it may not have be quite as impressive as we originally thought. So first off, let's take a look at the support and resistance of the chart. So first off, we have a resistance level here in the chart, as you can see that I have marked, and that resistance level translates all its all the way back into here. And we pushed up right up into that level, we tested it, but by the end of the day, we're unable to hold on to that, um, just kind of floating around right there at that resistance level. So kind of a, an interesting look um, here as we pound against that, that level, leaving this large gap behind. Now, technically speaking, we're in a pretty good situation where we're holding that 50-day moving average. That 50-day moving average is starting to turn just ever so slightly and uh, providing some a decent level of support in there. Unfortunately, what we're still dealing with is this really wide range, uh, and, and I gotta say, wide range of chop, where we keep oscillating back and forth between this area, and if, you're finding yourself struggling or frustrated in here in this market that seems to just be all or nothing. We're, we're all on the gas or we're slamming on the brakes. All, um, we can't seem to get any kind of stability here in price action. And unfortunately, that swing area is so large, it can really damage folks' you know your account as you're trying to trade it so the question for today is will we find enough bullish energy to push on through this level and um, break us on higher and then actually hold it or after such a huge upside rally of 900 points, will we see some profit takers today? Now, unfortunately, we've already seen Home Depot. Home Depot has come out and um, had an increase in sales, but COVID costs, um, as they dealt with, is pushing um, the stock a little bit lower this morning. And we're gonna hear from Walmart um, later, well, looks like we've already heard from Walmart. Walmart gapping up this morning on its um, earnings report. So a um, little bit of back and forth going on here in, um, in the market. So now it's going to be a question of can those bulls find enough inspiration as earnings start to kind of dwindle out and we face a... Um, and some economic news today that could move us around as well. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also. Now this just temporarily popped through that resistance level, but by the end of the day, I'm gonna to go to a quick 15 minute chart. You can see at the end of the day, we saw some selling coming in on um, that move. Now that doesn't necessarily mean anything on a 15 minute chart, um, how we're going to uh, deal with things the next day. And this morning we're 
looking at testing that level again. We're trying really hard to remain bullish here this morning, trying to push up into that level. Futures were this morning when I got up at about 4.30, we're looking for a, a rather large gap down, and they have fought their way back in the morning pump. That seems to be kind of a normal thing anymore. Um, in, in this entire move, every morning, there's a big institutional pump to get uh, draw as much money into the market as they can and really create that fear of missing out. I've got to hurry up and buy something um, in the morning. Want to be careful with that, particularly as we're testing resistance levels uh, right in here. Let's also keep in mind if I remove all of those lines, let's keep in mind that we are becoming very, very close to a 200 day possible resistance area in the chart. And looking through here, there is quite a congestion area right through here that could serve a bit of resist as a bit of resistance in that chart so even if we can break out we still have challenges to deal with and let's keep in mind the wide range that we have to deal with and that substantial gap hanging here uh, below in case those profit takers do decide to come in uh, there is a big open gap that we're going to have to deal with if sellers do jump on let's take a look at the queues qqq has been the strongest index um, out there by far and really it's the big four that continues to lead this market higher and i'll show you something that might give you a little bit of concern here in just a little bit but qqq is definitely continuing to trend um, very very strong pushing back up into price resistance levels here in the chart and we'll just have to wait and see if we can push right on through that or if a little bit of profit taking will come into play after such a big move can't tell you what's going going to occur here but something we definitely want to keep an eye on let's take a look at iwm iwm also pushing hard back up into this resistance area of the chart now the way i've drawn this and it may be incorrect the way it's drawn but kind of keep a keep a mind on this we are running into a price resistance level that may also include that resistance of the downtrend we broke that we broke the uptrend and if we can kind of a double layer of resistance possibly forming up there to maybe resist prices going higher now right now um, we are pushing up this morning and one of the good things here in the IWM is we actually saw um, financial stocks um, starting to lift up a bit yesterday they got some energy yesterday we need those financials to get moving and that would certainly help IWM here if they can start moving keep in mind we have significant resistance levels in the chart that we still have to deal with um, in in this index so a lot of work needs to be done and we really need some kind of a bullish move to break us through those levels and move us on up um, keeping in mind that we still have a 50 day move or 200 day moving average uh, moving uh, down uh, to resist even if we can break higher let's take a look at the VIX the VIX had that nice strong pullback yesterday. So as I've been talking about the VIX here, everything I've been pointing out is that how important it is that this resistance uh, continues to hold, this downtrend con uh, continues to hold. Now we did have that breakthrough of that resistance last week on the big sell-off that occurred and this pullback is showing a little bit of calming in that but i gotta tell you after such a big move a 900 point move in the dow and one point a thousand points i would have thought we would have seen that vix actually breaking back down into here but it didn't quite make it we didn't have enough energy in that vix still a little bit of fear may be in here so one of the things we're going to want to watch for if profit profit takers do happen to come in today 
a pop off of that could be an ugly situation where we may actually hold um, the break of that downtrend as support. Let's hope we continue to see uh, those bulls uh, fight on and push us back down into this area. Now let's keep in mind if I put the lines, uh, my drawings back on that chart, we do have a price support level in this chart right in here. Now VIX can be kind of funny around price support and resistance, but it has worked pretty well here recently. And if we find that uh, push on down, find that support in here, that would be um, a good sign if we can push that back down into that area. Now T2122 is, I get a lot of questions about T2122 because they look, everyone looks for it. Now, as far as I know, I don't, I don't know of any other place you're going to find it except the TC2000 system. It's out there, it's gotta be out there someplace. But T2122 is one of those great indicators that's just very, very consistent. And so let me pull this back and show you that when we reach up here into this area, and just keep in mind guys that all this is showing us is a four week new high, new low ratio. When we reach up into these areas up in here, we actually, whoa, we actually are in a situation where we show um, a, a level that um, we've stretched a little bit too far. Now I hate using the terms overbought or oversold. Those kind of get overused. Um, and, in in my opinion but as you can see when we reach up into these areas i call it the bearish reversal zone we get up in here and we tend to find profit takers or pullback now keep in mind we can stay up here for a while all right and, and remember this is just taking um, a four week ratio of all stocks making new highs all stocks making new lows and when we reach up there too far we kind of stretch things out we tend to get a pullback well unfortunately with the market the way we are right now it's just a all or nothing market either we're moving uh, between you know three days ago we were down here in the bullish reversal zone and we've completely whipped it right back up here into that bearish reversal zone this doesn't necessarily mean sellers will come in immediately as a matter of fact we can bounce around up here in this upper range um, for a while we've done that in the past back here where we've stayed bullish up in here pressing those levels and of course we have also seen where we have stayed uh, bearish um, for a period of time as we push levels. So I don't know what this is telling us other than we're kind of an all or nothing market. Either we rush in and can't seem to buy enough fast enough, or we're racing for the doors because we um, run into panic. So be careful as we push this resistance level up here. There's a reason to be a little bit cautious um, as we push that resistance level. If we also also look at T2101, which is a measure of the absolute breadth of the market. This is a concern for me. And that concern is that we continue to show a, a decline in the absolute breadth. What that's telling me is that fewer and fewer stocks are being able to lift the market up and hold the market up. So as we rally 900 points but the breadth of the market actually declines that's a little bit of clue that we have uh, fewer and fewer of those companies actually holding us up that the rally was not really all that broad based yesterday what i'm saying is the big four the amazon apple google and microsoft are, are now a full 20% of the S&P 500. Those four companies make up 20% of that index. And so all those indexes are rising, we may not be getting a full and complete picture or a very accurate picture of what's going on overall in the market. So just be a little bit careful as we push that resistance level. I don't wanna say that we should be bearish, we could push right on through, but just be a little bit careful as we push that resistance level because this, the, we're just not seeing that big um, surge of energy 
um, broad based. It's just in a few select um, stocks that continue to lift us up. Um, as we see the others just kind of hesitate, pause, consolidate, consolidate in ranges. So let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and see what we've got going on the economic calendar. What, and we do have a few things that we want to be uh, made aware of today on that calendar. So first off, we have, whoops, darn it pick that up over there didn't mean to um, we have um, a housing starts number coming out here at 8 30 this morning we'll want to pay attention to that obviously that has some influence on the market and could move us around we also have Jerome Powell speaking in Congress today now he's certainly expected to continue to come out and say look I have a big checkbook it's an unlimited checkbook and I'm not afraid to use it so I don't expect we're gonna learn a whole lot more but um, who knows Congress you never know um, what Congress might press on here we also have another Fed speaker here at 2 p.m to pay attention to so keep an eye on that remember fomc minutes are coming out tomorrow it's not uncommon to see the market kind of stall or pause as we wait for an fomc this season is pretty different though anything is possible so we may not get that normal pause that we have commonly seen um, heading into the fomc on the earnings calendar today we have a lighter um, earnings calendar as a matter of fact uh, we're really starting to dwindle down on those earnings. We did see earnings from Home Depot this morning. They had an increase in sales. Their sales numbers went up by 7%, but the COVID costs and things related to that uh, kind of drove earnings lower. And so, and I think that's probably gonna be a theme for retail for uh, some time uh, you know, going forward, um, as we're continuing to deal with this, it's going to be a difficult situation for retail to, um, to handle, particularly some of these big box stores. Um, we also, um, will have heard from Walmart at WMT reporting this morning, get a nice big pop here. Walmart, definitely a beneficiary of COVID and, um, seeing that big bump up here is really, um, showing really strong to any of those companies that continue to be able to support um, customer de demands through online sales. So uh, keep an eye on that. Walmart looking very good. Other than that, on the earnings um, calendar today that we may want to keep an eye on, I pulled out a few potential uh, potentially notables that we might want to keep a look at. Um, AAP, Advanced Auto Parts, reporting this morning, and they are getting a little bit of a bump higher. NTES, NTES um, will be reporting today. It looks like we're still waiting on that report. Um, SINA, also reporting this morning. It looks like they are gapping higher this morning. So you might want to keep an eye on that. Now this has been in an ugly, ugly downtrend. Um, I'm not sure this report changes much of anything, but at least um, it's a um, higher report. Um, URNB, whoops. Did I mistype something again? Looks like I've mistyped something again here in this. So um, how about WB? WB reporting this morning. We'll want to keep an eye um, on that. So watch that. Uh, also another stock in a downtrend. That AAP, I got to say, technically um, starting to show some good signs here. Oops, there we go. Starting to show some good signs here, breaking through um, that resistance level and breaking this downtrend trend so this might be one we want to keep an eye on we break that downtrend get a little bit of rest or pullback prove to hold in here that could set up um, a decent opportunity in the chart so I've gone kind of long today and I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos I truly appreciate it and if this is uh, the first time you've seen it if you guys could please click that subscribe button and also click that um, bell icon so you can be notified when I post um, another one of these videos um, I, I truly appreciate it and the thumbs up clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments really helps a lot and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that you guys are awesome
So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. I'm running out of time here this morning. One I want to bring to your attention that's kind of interesting. Some One of the members of Rightway Options brought this to my attention yesterday. Kroger pushed down, pushed down and left a nice little hammer pattern here. Um, in, in uh, that move. Now, I placed a price alert after looking at this, and I want to see that actually break back higher. A hammer to me is not a buy signal. It requires a follow through. So like we get a hammer here, and then we get a follow through. I want to be a buyer somewhere in here. I don't know if um, we're going to get that follow through today on Kroger, but obviously we're going to continue to need grocery stores. Keep an eye on that. It is entirely possible that Kroger could slip right, um, continue to consolidate here over toward its trend um, before it moves. But let's keep an eye on that one for the list. EVER. This chart continues to be a beautiful chart, holding up, ever quote, hold, breaking through resistance and then consolidating that move. We have several days in a nice tight consolidation. And what that tells me in here is there, at least at this point, there are no sellers below this point. And if there's no sellers below this point and no buyers above this point, and we are continuing to hold the trend, we want to be watching for that opportunity if those bulls do step up and push this out. So keep an eye on EVER for a potential upside move. Take a look at Dollar General. Dollar General, um, very much in a similar situation. It popped yesterday trying to push on out. Got a little bit of selling coming in after it did, but let's keep an eye on that to see if that can push on through. It looks like Dollar General is indicated to open just a little bit higher this morning, so this may be ready for its next leg higher. CRWD is another one of those patterns, holding this beautiful trend, breaking out, dealing with resistance levels, um, doing a great job. So watch this if we can get that bullishness to push that on through today. Day. PayPal is one I think um, we should all be keeping an eye on. Now it did pop through my alert yesterday and just kind of drifted back down. Um, one of the things that I'm always paying attention to is the trend. And oftentimes we see a stock react um, right around that trend. And sometimes when it goes just a little bit before we reach the trend, we have to still pull back and consolidate just a little bit right in here until we find that trend to pop. So I think PayPal is still setting up for that possible upside move. Keep an eye on that chart. So I apologize, guys. I went a little bit long in my explanation. I don't have time for too many stocks this morning, but I hope you got something out of this video today and how you might want to prepare for today's market. Everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good day, everyone.